Hey, 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 what's going on, guys and gals? In this particular video, we're going to talk about how to use the headphone jack from the mixer and use it as a wired in ear monitor system. Especially for the rack users, a lot of times they'll have the rack up there by the drummer. And it's not a hard process, but there are some things that you need to follow, okay? So I'm going to come over here, and the first thing I'm going to do is after I click on, uh, we're going to use bus 11 and 12, and I'm going to come up to the channel here, uh, right mouse click it, name it, and then give it a color. Uh, same thing uh, with the uh, mix bus number 12. And I'm going to link 11 to 12. Remember, we got to link odds to evens. We cannot link uh, evens to odds. So now that we've linked these two together, you can see right over here on the right now, uh, these are my mix buses for the drummer, okay? And then we're gonna come up here to send, and uh, get back to channels, doesn't matter which one we click on. I wanna make sure that this bus right here, the 11 and 12, is pre-fader, okay? That way when you're mixing the front of house, if you move one of these faders, it's not going to affect the in-ear monitor, okay? So once we have this set, and there's, if, if you do this as an afterthought, click this little uh, world icon right here, and then that will change any channel associated with this mix bus. Now I'm going to be using my app. Well, let me grab my phone. I can do this from my phone or my iPad, and uh, it's the uh, MX Bus. It works real well. So I've got it on my phone and my iPad. I can use either one. So now we're going to come up to the monitor, and we're going to put this on left, right, PFL. This is before the fader position. If you're going to be running a middle channel or your mono channel, sub channel then you'll want to put it on this as well. Okay. Now, if not, just leave it right here. And, and there's a reason for this. And I'm going to show you here in a second. Now, the only con to this is you're going to have to adjust the volume. Uh, here in X32 Edit, we can do it here. Okay. But if you've got the rack up there, then you're going to have to adjust the overall volume to this. From the actual volume knob that goes for the headphone jack okay so what i'm going to do now is simply come over here to the mixer view it doesn't matter what view we're in but i'm going to come over here and when i click on the drum left and right you can see how this automatically puts us into sins on fader for this bus but the most important thing that you have to do is you have to come to this bus and you have to solo it. So when we come over here now, we wanna add our channels as well as any FX that we're using, which we are using uh, FX1 and FX2 into this mix bus. And I'm gonna do this from my iPhone. So uh, I've got everything set up here. This is soloed out. So you should be able to hear it as I start to do this. And I'm just going to come back over here so you can actually see these faders move when I do this. First thing I'm going to do is add some kick in there. And I'm just going to go through this process and just kind of listen how I'm putting this mix together. Now I'm going to jump over to the lead vocals. Uh, the only thing about this on this particular song is uh, sometimes he comes in and goes out. So I got to kind of catch him as he's uh, coming through here and singing. 
And then once I get these two set, I'm just going to go through and just start adding them. You'll see the faders move. Heading down the back roads, trying to make sense of it all. Waiting for a sign from the sky, but it just don't fall. Making up the lost time, trying to gain miles on my life. Wanting for a feeling that I know, but I just can't find. I don't want to be a fool flying into the hands of a window pane. Telling all my old friends that I have left I lost my way. I lost my way. Okay, guys, now at this time, I'm going to go ahead and go over here to the FX. And you'll watch here the same way. I'm just switching from my channels over to the FX groups. And let's get back to listening. Now, guys, as you can see, uh, the mute has no effect on this. The faders have no effect on this. You know, we were talking about the cons before, but if you want a real fast way of setting something up, now you can use the P1s, the P2s, uh, the P16, M48. You can come out of the auxiliary outputs and run into a headphone amp. There's all kinds of ways to do it. But if you want something that's compact and easy to use, and if you're not using a, you know, a front of house engineer, and you're going to be running your own sound, then this is a real easy way to set it up and do it. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, reach out, www.danatucker.com. Take care, God bless, and we are out of here.